This nine-year-old patient was referred to me for endodontic treatment of tooth number nine. When she was seven years old, she was playing and she had hit this tooth, tooth number nine, um, against a piece of furniture and cracked the tooth, as you can see. She was taken to her dentist at the time, two years ago, after the accident, and the dentist had rebuilt the missing part, the fractured part of the tooth with tooth colored filling and um, told the parents that uh, the tooth seemed to be okay and uh, no further treatment needed. Well, a few weeks ago, the patient started to have some symptoms, felt the tooth was, was loose, um, and there was also some swelling uh, superior to the tooth. So uh, parents noticed that, uh, they um, take her to her dentist and her dentist refers her to us. Um, as you can see, again, you can see this tooth um, had been traumatized. Um, composite was used to rebuild the missing part of the tooth two years ago. Open apex, as you can see, wide open apex there and a large pair of corrolucency. And as I said, there was labial swelling also associated with the tooth. Patient had dental phobia. So we had to uh, sedate her today, IV sedate her today, and um, do apexification, of course, and um, complete endodontic treatment in one appointment, one visit for her. And take a look. So um, usually when the apex is open, um, the, uh, the apex locator doesn't work properly. And as soon as I see that, that my apex locator is acting up, I take some... PAs, working length PAs. Here was a number, here was a number 50 file, 20 millimeters, and you can see I'm short. So we went ahead and put a 20, now this is 23 millimeter number 50, and as you can see, I'm perfect right at the apex of the tooth, and you can see that large, look how large that pair of lucency is. All right, very good. So. Um, and by the way, as soon as I opened the tooth up, there was PRLN discharge. I used microsuction, suctioned it all out. Um, of course, 6% sodium hypochlorite was used during instrumentation. The apical diameter turned out to be over 60. So regardless, we're doing apexification anyway. So um, I used white MTA. So take a look here. But uh, I checked to make sure that there was no oozing there was no discharge by placing a few sterile paper points to working length and examining them and they all came out nice and dry and take a look so we went ahead and placed mta white mta and this is white mta right here all the way as you can see perfect to the apex white mta apexification was done followed by gutter percha and sealer and temporize the tooth. Now, mom and dad will take her to her dentist and her dentist will replace my temporary filling with a permanent filling. The tooth was discolored, by the way, also, I forgot to mention that. So her dentist needs to just uh, clean it up. Uh, the dentist um, can um, use a composite and place composite um, over the tooth, like, uh, like a kind of like a veneer and um, and uh, make the tooth more pre presentable and nice.